Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is in the process of deprecating manifest V2 extensions, as we have been discussing. One of those, um, which is the popular content blocker and ad blocker, uBlock Origin. And as we move towards the end of the year, as we have been discussing, Google is going to make it harder to access these V2 extensions like uBlock Origin. And by the end of this year, we can expect to no longer see any of the V2 extensions available in Chrome, which will, according to Google, be replaced with V3, manifest V3 extensions. Now, in regards to this, um, as an example, if you are using uBlock Origin and want to use it for a little bit of an extended period of time, I did post a video um, in August on how you can extend uBlock Origin support in Chrome for another year on Windows. That was a workaround. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, my reason for mentioning that video is because it's related to what we're going to talk about in this video because a so-called another workaround could be in the pipeline to extend your usage of V2 extensions like uBlock Origin um, until at least June next year, 2025, where Google has started rolling out a temporary experimental flag in Chrome Canary, which is currently sitting on version 132, which is the latest preview version. And the flag is mainly aimed at developers that allows you to continue using these extensions until uh, the release of Chrome 139, which will be released approximately middle of next year, June 2025. Now, Although the flag is available in Chrome Canary in version 132, um, there's a good chance this could work its way down to the stable. So this could be a, a future possible way for you to hold on to your V2 extensions a little bit longer if you are affected. And just a quick recap, Google is discontinuing manifest V2 extensions in favor of V3. They say for performance security and better privacy. Now that's also in question and I posted a quite a in-depth video on that yesterday questioning that and I'll leave that link down below in the end screen as well. Now getting back to the flag, if we head to our experimental flags page by entering as always chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the omni box and all we type in to bring up the flag is legacy. There we go and here's the flag allow legacy extension manifest versions. The description reads allows extensions with legacy unsupported manifest versions to be loaded as unpacked extensions. This should only be used for maintaining legacy extensions and will be removed in the future. So take note of that. It will be removed in the future because as I've mentioned previously, flags are not options. They are experiments. So in Chrome Canary, we change that from default to enabled. We'll have to relaunch once again to apply that flag. Now at this stage, nothing changes. So although the flag is applied, if I head back to my extensions, nothing has changed. We still get the same messages and so on. Um, nothing in that regard is changed, but this is going to be an interesting one to watch in preview. So that's why I'm saying this could work its way down to the stable version as a, another possible workaround for at least the next couple of months. If you want to hold on to um, your uBlock Origin and other V2 extensions, and I'll keep a close eye on this. I thought this was interesting um, because a lot of these flags do make their way down to stable. So if and when this does become available in stable, obviously I'll let you know because then uh, you could be able to extend that extension support, those V2 extension support. But if you are, for whatever reason, using Edge Canary, sorry, Chrome Canary, um, if you are using Chrome Canary for whatever reason, um, and you have uBlock Origin or any other V2 extensions, you can also use this as a workaround in that early preview version. And just remember though that this is a temporary solution, so always just keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.